Welcome to the attacking DVD. Most humans uh, like much more uh, to attack than to defense, uh, to defend. And for me, this is valid as well. Seen through the player for player types model, of course, activists and hyper activists like much more to attack. They in a way they always want to attack as part of their style, especially a hyper activist player like Misha. Tal, whom I devoted the eighth chapter of this DVD. In general, I have divided the DVD according to guidelines and motives. The first chapter, I think, is the most important guideline. Invite everyone to the party. Yeah, the attacker wants, often wants to introduce all forces into the attack. Simply everybody or everybody available for the attack. Second chapter is a guideline. The attacker does not want to exchange attacking potential. Yeah. The exchange guidelines are all more or less problematic. And of course, seeing chess only through guidelines is also very problematic in itself. I have I want to warn you, it's not sufficient to learn all guidelines by heart. Much more important is to have a good intuition for the exceptions to the guideline, and I've also tried to include examples with, with um, such exceptions to sharpen your intuition. But this guideline is good, of course, in my opinion. Okay, next is not really a gu guideline, it's more motives, opening up attacking roads, pawns can open it up, knight sacrifices can open up roads for the long range um, pieces. Um, and more motives uh, like uh, that. Then chapter four, typical attacking motives. There, of course, I couldn't look at at everything, all sacrifices on all squares, not possible on this DVD. I focused on the bishop uh, sacrifice on h7, the Greek gift sacrifice, and um, the back rank mate. Such motives you should know by heart, but of course, there are many more such typical attacking motives. I just couldn't include all of them into the DVD. Chapter 5, typical attacking stretches, the isolated pawn, King's Indian structures and motives, and King's Indian attack also, with well, King's, King, King's Indian with white in a way, and yeah, at one game attack with uh, attacking the French Winawa with, with white, but of course, this also goes on and on. Scenes through the player types model series are very good in their structures, but you, you should also be good in the structures from your opponents. There you should know the important mot attacking motives by heart. Chapter six, attack with opposite colored uh, bishops. Um, yeah, the guideline would be that opposite colored bishops favor the um, Attacker, this I think is also a very good guideline. This is a very instructive theme, in my opinion. Many good examples. Also one of the favorite themes of Mark Dvoretsky, the great um, trainer from the Soviet school of um, chess. Um, yeah. And and there are some, some misunderstanding. Uh, opposite colored bishops in general do, uh, have nothing to do with the draw. They just uh, favor the... Um, attacker in the middle game. Only in a pure end game, they, um, yeah, in the, the, a pure opposite color bishop ending uh, end game has a very large Jewish tendency, but when more pieces are on the board, then they, they favor the attacker. Also a very good middle game guideline. Yeah, chapter seven is attack on a color complex. Yeah, this is very similar to the attack with opposite colored bishops. Uh, usually, this should be, of course, in the in a, on a on a weak color complex of the opponent. If, for example, the fan shitted bishop g7 has been exchanged, black has castled short, then the dark squares around black's king are very weak, especially if the e7 pawn is also not there anymore. And then there are many, many, many motives worth uh, knowing where white can exploit the weak dark squares around black's king. Then chapter eight, Tal's magical attacks. Of course, Tal, the only hyperactivist player or 
among the 16 classical world champions. And it was yeah, easy and difficult to choose. And I also include a few of Alexei Shirov's examples. And his masterpiece, uh, his book, Fire on Board, of course, is also like, an, like a manual on dynamic or attacking play. Yeah, and of course, last not least, I had to include, you guessed it, also a chapter on endgame attacks. They are different from middle game um, attacks in the regard that often the attacking king will help the attacking forces actively. In the middle game, yes, usually is not possible. Okay, there might be the exception of short versus Timman, where short's king went to g5 and then invaded on f, or could invade on f or e on h6 or in some lines even on f6 but this of course is a big exception to the guideline that in the middle game the king should be safe and in the end game the guideline is the king should be active and this is often also valid for end game attacks you will see in chapter 9 for yourself and now ah now of course uh, i want to have a short look at uh, first example stein it's van bordelheim isolated pawn structure but white must deck if black uh, black is better statically and if black can consolidate, then two results. Black wins or draw. So white to move must act. D5. Opening inroads, then inviting everybody to the party. And then one of the most beautiful attacks in the history of chess follows Steinitz flying rook. And Van Badelheim left the tournament hall without resigning and later sent a career to announce his resignation while Steinitz showed the fantastic final lines. But this also shows that, of course, as attacker, you should be able to calculate the attacking tactical motives very well. And uh, so I, I think and hope that the DVD also gives you a tactical training mat material or tra questions when going through the exercise. Like here, of course, I there were many lines to calculate, of course. I, I, didn't show them here, I will show them in chapter one. But you should also uh, ask yourself questions and calculate the lines yourself. You train your attacking tactics, which is very important to be a successful attacking player. You need intuition, but of course, uh, when the moment then comes, you also need the sharp calculation to finish the attack correctly and in style. And now I wish you a lot of fun with the DVD and your attacking games and I stop this uh, this talk here and you really go to the real material.